Evening campers, Phil here at digitaldjtips.com with the Tractor Control Z1 Modular. They call it a mixer interface. It's basically a two channel mixer for Tractor DJ and for Tractor Pro on a laptop. But there's no inputs, there's no actual audio inputs, it's just a software mixer. Um, and it has got an audio interface built into it. So you plug this into something like an iPad, which is what we're going to look at it with today, and it gives you full stereo headphones queuing and a full stereo output to have coming through the main speakers. So really for an, an iPad, it's a no-brainer. If you have Tractor DJ on the iPad, you have all the transport controls and the ability to touch the waveforms, which is such a big part of how they sell that app. But of course, you've got no easy way of mixing um, although you've got EQs and filters and so on in there, it's a bit fiddly. This breaks it all out, gives you some really expressive controls and also gives you the all important audio interface. And because it's Apple approved, it means that it can charge your iPad at the same time and you don't need to use fiddly connection kits and stuff like that to get it to work. So let's uh, look a bit more closely at how it works with iOS. So on the back of the unit are a input for DC, there's a transformer provided so you can plug the mains electricity in there. That's really important because it will then charge the iPad at the same time or the iPod or the iPhone. And without that, it won't work with iOS. There's a USB and they provide a USB cable with it, a 30 pin cable. Now, if you've got a more modern device, you might think, oh, it's no problem. I'll just substitute it for my lightning cable. It doesn't work like that because the other end of the cable is this style as opposed to the one which plugs into your charging device. So you'll have to source yourself either another cable or get an adapter. I can understand why Native Instruments has done that. There's probably more 30 pin devices out there than lightning devices, but nonetheless, it's a bit strange that they don't provide the connection for the most current iPads, iPhones and iPods. Um, so that's the USB. Then there are twin RCA outs. That's where you plug your sound system in. And on the front is a headphone socket, just an eighth inch headphone socket, so that you can get your headphones plugged into it like that. So, let's get it looked at. I'm going to plug it into an iPad, and the best way that I've found to use it with an iPad is to use the Apple Smart Case, as I have here, just to raise the iPad up ever so slightly. It's the best way to use it for me to use Tractor DJ as well, uh, which just gives you enough um, of an angle to see it easily uh, without making it too unstable. So that's my uh, preferred choice of, of uh, setup. So let's see what the features are on this little baby. So of course, as the unit has no transport controls, it's just a mixer. We use the Tractor DJ app to do all our starting, stopping, looping, playing, and all that kind of thing. Let's get a tune playing here. And let's talk you through what is on the Z1 or the Z1. So there's a gain control at the top and then low, mid and high for the EQs and down here just the standard line fader which has got a nice feel to it, a bit of resistance there and a looser cross fader although you're not going to be scratching with this because uh, there's no way of, of doing scratch moves on uh, a touch screen and then there's a filter here so we can switch our filter on Now also there's control over the effects in a Tractor DJ. Although the effects are an XY pad, we're going to have to switch them on like this. This now turns yellow. And I've got it set to the gator there. I really like the gator on the tractor, although it is only XY, so if we switch on the effects area, it's only controlling this left to right, it's not doing the up and down, you have to still get your finger in there to do that bit. And of course you can switch to other controls. Uh, and the same on the other side of course, so you've got two filters, independent, two effects independent, and you can have a filter going on one and an effect going on the other, no problem at all. So, main volume output, the VU meters are actually properly showing you the VU 
are set by the game. So in other words, before the main output, which is nice. It means you can set that these um, pre-mixing, really, it's how it should be. Q volume for your headphones and a Q mix, again, to make the headphones choose between playing the cued and the master output. And here's your buttons for choosing what happens in the headphones. So all very, very simple there. Uh, and it works extremely well. With Tractor DJ, I think this is an awesome little addition. I can see it tucking behind little Amsterdam style bars and anywhere where you want to DJ where there really isn't room for a big setup. And because there's not much duplication of controls going on here, you know, you've got a really good way of controlling your music here anyway. And Tractor DJ is written so that it, it just lets you mix most kinds of music really easily. This is the bit that's harder to do with Tractor DJ and all of a sudden, you know, you've got tight, good control over your EQs, filters, basic effects, and basic two-channel mixing. So I think this is all about Tractor DJ. I don't think it's a massive uh, bonus to users of big Tractor, if you like. You might be someone who thinks, hey, yeah, I'd like one of those. I'll put an F1 with it, I'll put an X1 with it, and I'll have remixed X and control over the transport of my track decks. And, that, and if that kind of thing sounds good to you, then hey, go for it. I think in that instance, though, it would have been nice to have a USB hub on the back of here so you could plug your extra modular controllers into one and then just head one USB off to your computer because you might run out of USBs before you run out of modular controllers to plug in. For me, though, as I say, I think it's all about Tractor DJ. It makes perfect sense works well, gives you a proper audio interface, gives you the most essential controls, leaving you to do the fun bits on the touch screen, which Tractor DJ does so well anyway. So there you have it, the Tractor Control Z1 or Z1, depending on where you're watching this in the world. It's very late at night here in the Digital DJ Tips office and it's been a long day, which is why I'm whispering a little bit. Why do we whisper at night? Who knows? Um, so um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in our next review. As always, the full review is on digitaldjtips.com.